what do you as quote unquote biblical Unitarian believe the Lord who is raining fire and brimstone from the Lord of heaven? What is your view on that? Right. So what we have here is a repeat of the divine name in the same verse, right? If you look at the old Testament, there are many other examples where, uh, the name of someone is repeated. The first example you can look at is Genesis 4, 23. It says Lamech said to his wives, you wives of Lamech, that is a repeat of, of the name Lamech, but it's also a sort of a combination of what they call, uh, an iliism or speaking of yourself in the third person that's similar to what's happening here. And then the one in first Kings eight, one. Uh, Solomon assembling the people before Solomon or to Solomon. So I just see it as a Hebrew idiom to emphasize the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah when it comes to Genesis 19. And if you look at study Bibles, which are not, you know, not Trinitarian, <laughs> the ESV study Bible says that very thing, these words emphasize the divine nature of the punishment. So it's just an emphatic way of the writer here, Moses, who we believe wrote Genesis right. to emphasize the destruction of, of the cities, which are very wicked. And by the way, famous Protestant reformers like John Calvin, uh, understood it that way too. If you look at what he wrote in his commentaries, uh, by repeating the word Jehovah, Moses designed to point out more strongly the fearful vengeance of God. And he did acknowledge that other Trinitarians you know, he was a Trinitarian Calvin understood this as the father and the son. So in other words, the father reigning from the son, but Calvin understood it differently. So.